Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Edit Care. Today I have brought another session with respect to Python where I will be showing you how you can schedule your Python scripts uh, using task scheduler. So here basically two things I will show you. Uh, sometimes your task scheduler service will be in uh, 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 disable mode. So I will show you like how you can enable it using registry key uh, using registry as well as I will show you how you can schedule your scripts like uh, for scheduling the scripts also you can have two ways where you can uh, one way is like you can create a bad file you can create a bad script and you can just run the bad script using task scheduler which in return uh, will trigger the python script and the second way is like uh, directly will create the python exe and then uh, we'll trigger the python file with it so and guys uh, if you're new to this channel uh, please do subscribe my channel for supporting me so first of all, if you see your uh, task scheduler service is in the, uh, disable mode, so you can enable it from here. So for that, you need to go to your registry uh, key. So just reg edit type in your start. And then uh, just go to H key local machine uh, system, current control set services and then schedule. So I will put this uh, location in my description box. You can get this from there. And in this, uh, this particular start key, so here uh, we have two things uh, four things actually uh, two is for automatic if you want to put manual you can put three and for disable you can put it four so here since it is automatic so i am putting as two only and once you are done with this just uh, once you are changing it from four uh, normally if the service is in disable state so it will be showing as uh, value as four so once you change it to three or two and then just uh, restart the machine once to make it active uh, and like if they are putting a services active uh, automatic then one restart it will automatically start the service else you need to manually start it so now coming to the task scheduler uh, first of all i will show you like uh, this is the basic uh, script i made uh, which will just show you like uh, uh, like a a take in the message box uh, with uh, some label and uh, current time on it so just i will just run it and show you how this is gonna look like uh, this is basically just program started at what time so you can see this is the time the program got started and uh, for this uh, i can either execute via batch script also this is the batch script i have created this is also very simple just either an echo off and the python file while well, python file is available so if I run this also, let us see how it executes. So here also I'm getting the same thing. So now what I'm gonna do is like using task scheduler, I will just call one time I will show you like I will just call directly the Python file. That is the uh, tick enter message. Uh, this is the file I will just call it directly. And uh, the next I will show you like how I will call the batch file and which will return uh, trigger the this particular Python file. Okay, so let me go to task scheduler. Uh, this is my task scheduler. So here I have created a basic task. So I will just delete this. And then I will just show create a new one. So just go to action. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Go to click here. And, uh, and then action. Create task. So I will just name say like start python. <coughs> next uh, either like if you have if uh, your laptop or system is being used by multiple person so you can use uh, whether the user is logged or not but if it is used by a single headed user just uh, run on when the user is logged on and then you can either put this run with highest privilege or anything so let me put this run with highest privileges then the trigger at what time you are triggering or uh, what is the trigger method so you can trigger various ways say like on schedule so if you're scheduling it you can schedule a day, month, or time, or what time you are going to schedule it. At logon, at logon means like whenever you are logging to onto the system, your user is logged on. Automatically, this particular script will get triggered up. Or at startup, when the system is started starting up, at that time it will it will get logged on. On idle, at uh, say idle like, so you can put this idle. Or an, on an event, at particular event ID, so like uh, you will have lots of. If you go to event viewer, you can have lots of event IDs right so based on that at particular event you can uh, schedule a task also uh, there are various other ways you can schedule task so we'll just go for schedule now and uh, we'll put something called uh, 
daily or you can go for weekly say Monday Tuesday Wednesday Tuesday Wednesday I'm putting it some date and if you see my current time is 2326 uh, let me schedule it for 2327 oh, so it's 27 already 29 let me put 00, zero. and these are a couple of arguments or you can say like uh, additional parameters if you would like to check in you can check in based on your requirements and then I will put it OK next is like action what actually it is gonna do what you are looking to do with this uh, scheduler so here I'm gonna do this like I'm gonna start a program so what is a program so I will be directly executing the Python script so browse so just first of all you need to find out where your python.exe is located so here I will be showing us like I'll be putting this particular file name so tick enter message box or this dot pi this is the argument and start in so here I'm gonna put the entire path of my Python file so this is optional but uh, this is not required but still I'm gonna sorry okay sorry Wait a second. sorry not this So I'm gonna put this path over here and just okay and additional conditions are that if you would like to do something so I just uh, don't want anything and uh, some settings if you'd like you can do it or else just uh, ignore it so I think it's 23 28 it's almost gonna 29 so let me just put it if you see here I have a task called start Python and we'll see when the time it is 29 it is gonna trigger on its own So if you see, uh, it got triggered, and we have the time here 23:29. So you can see here, like in this way, you can show like how the trigger is. <clears throat> and next, I'm gonna show you like uh, uh, how we can uh, trigger the file using a batch script. So similar script, I'm just gonna do is like I'll just edit it, trigger equal to action, and I will just edit this instead of this I'm just gonna put the batch script location over here so so my batch script is located over here I'm just gonna put this over here and start dot bat I don't need this and I don't need this and let me just change the time over here it's 2329 maybe 30 we will put it 31 let us see so it's 31 so let us wait for some 40 seconds hope uh, you guys have understood uh, how to use the task scheduler for scheduling Python scripts uh, if you have any doubts you can write that to me at my comments uh, you can write down the comments or you can write down to me at my email address so I will try to help you out getting this so still it is 23 so if you see here uh, the program started at 233101 so this is how uh, we can start the script using task scheduler uh, so if you have liked this video please press like button and for more videos Please do subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.